Back in 2010, when we were all waiting for EA's newest Need for Speed title, we got word that Burnout developer Criterion would be helming the next racing game. I myself was intrigued by this idea because I love the Burnout games and we heard that the next game was going to be called Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Now it wasn't called Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3, this was essentially just a reboot of that line of titles. From what we got the previous year with Need for Speed Shift and all the legal racing that brought, I was certainly excited to get back to the more arcade racing from this franchise. I was pretty much expecting the game to be somewhat like Hot Pursuit 2 in a sense that it was just going to be you know, a mix of high-end race cars and the occasional police chase. While most of that is true, the concept was taken and pushed to the max. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is a very fast-paced racing game with intense action gameplay. I was very much pleased with how this game turned out and is most definitely in my top 10 favorite Need for Speed games. So while I would just review the actual game that came out in 2010, I am going to be reviewing the remastered version of this game because it's pretty much no difference whatsoever, besides some updated textures with all the DLC included. But even in 2010, this game looked beautiful. The remastered was honestly just a slap in the face because this game was in need for a remaster release. Go back and remaster games like Underground or Morse Wanted. That's what we want. But nonetheless, it's still a great game, just an unnecessary remaster. Now, the game features an awesome roster of cars totaling about up to 80 vehicles to choose from. Now, you do get to play on both sides of the law, and while pretty much there is a cop car version for every vehicle in the game, the cops do have some exclusives like the Crown Vic, because who is honestly going to be racing one of those things? So once you start the game, you are littered with cutscenes and tutorial videos that in the original wouldn't let you skip them, but now with the remaster allows you to skip all that. Thank God, because those got so annoying every time you wanted to restart the game before. The map you are racing is called Seacrest County. It is a big and beautifully diverse map with desert and wintry mountains and a green and fall setting forest to drive through. You do have a night and day cycle that you'll go through and on top of all of that, you can go on a cruise and you can just freely drive around the map to your leisure. You are also given the ability to go into a photo mode and take some awesome screenshots for wallpapers and share your best moments with your friends. Throughout the game, you have five categories of cars to choose from. Sports, performance, super, exotic, and hyper cars. To unlock them, you must accrue bounty, pretty much like in Most Wanted. You can acquire bounty from doing a lot of things, like passing people to get from second or first, reach your car's top speed, or use your equipment during the hot pursuit chases. Speaking of which, on top of doing just the regular races, the police chases are what take center stage and it is awesome. The adrenaline filled chases with multiple cops and helicopters chasing you can make this experience very intense. During the chases, you are equipped with different weapons and tools at your disposal. The spike strips that you'll drop from behind your car as you're driving, a signal jammer which can stop other cars' spike strips, stop the EMP blasts which are also given to you as well, and the best thing in the whole game, a turbo boost, which is probably the most satisfying thing you ever hear and experience. Make sure you're on an open road and just let it rip. You honestly just feel like a rocket and it just creates a very exciting time during your gameplay. You will also be pitted against cops by yourself with time limits that also create a lot of challenge and fun. So as I stated, you get to play as the cops as well and you are tasked with taking down street racers during the pursuit chases before they reach the finish line. You get spike strips and EMPs, but are exclusively given the use of roadblocks and helicopters to send after them. The roadblocks are vicious. It's not like in most one where you can just smash right through them and be scot-free. If you hit them, then you are going to crash, and once your damage meter is depleted, you will then be busted. I really just wish that when you were busted, it would give this little cutscene of them arresting you like in Most Wanted or Carbon. I just think that would have been fun to see. You are also given the opportunity to play online against other racers. But from what I've seen, people only really like to race with hypercars, seeing how those lobbies are always filled. It's also cross-play, so you get to play against PC players as well. 
The soundtrack is pretty good, nothing too memorable besides the 30 seconds to Mars. I am very happy with Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and I know it's a big fan favorite in the fan base. It is certainly one of those games that I find myself going back to from time to time. With a great car selection, the Hot Pursuit chases being intense and fun to the constant drifting around corners and blasting you away from the competition and the law. I am looking forward to seeing how Criterion's version of Most Wanted is, seeing how I barely played that before, so that should be interesting. You guys let me know how you guys felt about Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, whether if you got it when it was uh, released in 2010, how do you feel about the remastered version, do you feel like it was worth having a remaster come out? Let me know your thoughts and comments down in the description box below. Guys, my name is Pedro Ordonez, also known as GameLight7, please subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up, do whatever you guys can to support this channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.